Hey, what's going on guys? I came across a really, really good and completely free to use AI text to video tool. It's called Pika and there's currently a wait list, but um, I do think if you have a link to the Discord, you can join it directly. So I'll try to get that link for you guys. If I do find that link, it'll be in the description below this video. But essentially it's kind of like mid-journey where you can generate um, your prompts within uh, Discord and then you'll be able to get your outputs. But this is really cool because you're able to turn text to video, so not text to image, Images, but rather uh, be able to get short um, pretty high quality videos of course it's still iterating and they're still going to be improving but as you can see just from these examples you can get some pretty high quality videos from simple prompts so in this example here we see New York City everything is covered in a thick layer of gray soot and grime smog chokes the air people go about their daily activities not noticing what is going on so pretty cool um, again if we scroll down here we have a prompt that prompt is hidden that prompt is hidden and we have a badger singing a happy song and that's the image of it so i think this is going to be really cool for animation and if you're creating more um more of that style of video right now it's a little bit harder to get um video that looks a lot more like real life but i think it is improving at a very rapid pace and if you look at the older text to video models they weren't that great but right now um, pico labs is doing a really really good job at uh, being able to create high quality videos from a simple text so for example again this is a prompt of a young woman and two androids sneaking towards a high security desk da 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 again it looks pretty good this is another pretty cool video of a woman. So as you can see, you can be pretty creative and um, with the right prompting, you can definitely get the output that you're looking for. If you want to create your own video, it's very, very easy to do so. Just head over to any of the generation tabs, hit the slash icon, hit create, and then you want to enter your prompt within this section. And just before we enter a prompt, I just want to make sure that I'm prompting the AI in the best way that I can. I'm going to head over to the getting started section, and this is going to be the instructions that we need to follow to make sure that we're writing the best prompt. So I'm gonna copy that over into ChatGPT. So I've pasted in the instructions given by the server and I've told ChatGPT to use these instructions to create an effective prompt for a text of video of a man driving a sports car down a highly lit highway at night with the aspect ratio of 69. So let's go ahead and see the prompt that we're able to get back. Okay, so I think custom instructions are on. So I'm gonna turn that off and try it again. Okay, so here's the prompt that we get back from ChatGPT. Let's go ahead and copy this full prompt. We're going to head back over to the Discord group. Okay, so we've pasted in that prompt. Now let's go ahead and send that over and see if we're able to get that video. So as you can see, it does get pretty hectic when you're trying to generate your outputs because there's everyone else that's also trying to generate their outputs. So you can actually go ahead and create a thread for your specific output like I did. And that is where you'll be able to see when your output has been created by the AI. While you're waiting, you can definitely go ahead and take a look at some of the prompting techniques that other users are using to be able to get good outputs. Okay, so I finally got it to work. And this was the first very simple prompt that I used, which was a man driving a car. And this is the video that we were able to get back. So I'm not very good, but also my prompting wasn't that good as well. So I've went ahead and used the prompt that we got back from ChatGPT. And let's see the difference in outputs that we're able to get back. So here is the output that we got back from the prompt that we used from ChatGPT. Um, it didn't really follow the instructions, but still it's pretty cool that we're able to generate some um, video just from simple text. I went ahead and ran that prompt again. I changed it up a little bit. And as you can see, we get a lot closer to what we're looking for. We had a sports car that's driving down a well-lit highway at night. So you really need to play around with your prompts and optimize your prompts to be able to get better outputs. But it's pretty cool how easy we can get these videos just from simple um, text. Okay, so let's go ahead and copy over that prompt. We're gonna head back over to the Discord group. We're gonna hit the slash icon, create. We're gonna paste that prompt in. Just wanna make sure that everything is all aligned. And while that's being generated, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other videos. So we have a psychedelic brownie with swirling brown patterns, which looks pretty cool. Currently, I think the most effective use cases for these text videos will be for more abstract content um, creation, because as you can see, it does a really, really good job. But when it comes to getting stock images or stock videos that you can use in actual um, real life scenarios, that's a little bit harder to get, because as you can see, there's still some distortion when it comes to generating images of humans. But it's really, really cool and very exciting to see how um, this will continue to get better. So this is the last prompt that I used, which was a man surfing in the ocean. 
And again, as you can see, it's pretty cool. Like if you're creating a video, you can get a couple of different clips, put it all together, have a voiceover, and you can create a faces video for completely free using a tool like this, um, in addition with some other AI tools. So, and if you wanted to download that image, just click the download button and you'll be able to download that image or that video and use it within your content. I'm really, really impressed by the output quality. It's still early days, but I guarantee that this will continue to get better and you'll be able to generate full length videos with just simple prompts. So if you guys wanna check out this tool, I'll leave a link in the description below this video. As always, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope that you learned something new. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well. And if you wanted to download that image, just click the download button and you'll be able to download that image or that video and use it within your content.